Hello, today I'm working on a Toshiba laptop. This is a Toshiba Satellite L750-16L. This is a slightly older Toshiba laptop. It's kind of, you know, chunky, but uh, I think it's a pretty good computer. Anyway, this computer has a bad keyboard. The owner said that her password didn't work anymore, and when she brought it in, I discovered that a few of the keys weren't actually typing. And so, we're going to replace the keyboard with a new one. And I'm not sure whether this keyboard comes out uh, from just the top or if I have to open it up and unscrew anything from the bottom. So I'm going to open this first and see if it has any screw holes, any screw bosses on the bottom. So there's some tape across here. So looking at the keyboard, there are no screw bosses on the bottom, but there are four tabs that look like you might put screws in, and one of these is actually bent. This whole keyboard is slightly bent. Oh, I'm not impressed. That's pretty significantly bent. It's just so thin. This material is so weak. All right. Okay, so this goes into the computer. I can see there are tabs at the bottom, so it'll slide into the computer like that, and then there must be screws or something that's holding down the top edge. So if I look at the computer itself, that tells me those four tabs are under here, so this piece of trim must come off. So let's see, does it just pop off? Or is there a screw I need to undo from inside? Um, can I actually have a look underneath? So that piece of trim is under here. I'm going to take the battery out. And there's one small screw here that I'm going to remove because I think that is going up into that, that piece of trim. We'll find out here. Hmm doesn't quite feel right. Hmm. Yeah, it must be right. Yeah, I can feel that it wants to come up. Yeah, it's quite loose here. Ah, there we go. So it just pulled up from the middle and it came out just fine. And there's the, the screw boss from the one screw that we removed was holding this in place. So I'm very glad I didn't just start prying. And now I can see that there are four screws that hold the keyboard in where those four tabs are. So you can see the four tabs on here. Those line where those screws are. So this is definitely the right keyboard. And we are well on our way. So there's going to be a, a ribbon cable holding this on here. I'm going to show you that under the, under the microscope here. So these ribbon cables are held on with a, I don't know if you'd call it a zip socket, but I can flip that up. There we go. And that just slides right out. So there's the old keyboard. It's got plenty of gunk in there. new keyboard. We will just plug that right in to the zip socket. Okay, that looks all right. Now I will screw it in. And I'll put this piece of trim back on. Nice, yeah, so if you pop it in the ends first, it must eclipse underneath. And then we'll put the screw back in here. Slide the battery back in. And lock it. And now hopefully
All right, we're logged in. So that was it. Thanks for watching.